right, so getting cool here talking to Chris from uh, Rainey's Revenge. How you doing, man? Doing pretty good. How are you? Good, good. Uh, I understand you guys had a big show tonight with the World Alive, and uh, there's a little he said, she said action going on. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of it. <laughs> you want to fill me in on what uh, went down tonight? Sure, I'll give you a lowdown. Um... Uh, they, they they added uh, one more band to the to the set, so it was a really I want to say there was three, four, five bands maybe. So it was a really really tight schedule. Uh, we were second up. Uh, we got on stage. We got on stage fairly quickly, but there was some uh, you know the sound guy was micing everything up, and that took some time. So uh, apparently we ran over. We weren't aware. So we played our very first song, and right after that, the tour manager came up and grabbed Ty, our other singer and told him, hey, you got five minutes. And they followed that up with, if you if you try me and go over five minutes, I'm going to have the PA shut off. So, you know, when we're on stage, we just finished the song, so we were like, okay, well, I mean, I guess if they're going to shut the PA on, that's ain't much we can do, you know. We gotta, we're going to play one more song and be done. Right, right. So we played the second song. Uh, we finished and got off stage, and two of the members went outside, uh, they were on the on the outside of the venue by themselves. There was no crowd, no people, no nothing. Two, Just two, a security two, guide. This is two of huh? your two of your band members. Two of my band members, correct. After we finished, take, you know, taking our gear out and loading it all up, they were on the side of the venue, not by eight, not by either entrance, not by the front entrance or the rear. They were on the side by the main road, away from everybody. The only person that was by them was a little side entrance where there was a security guard. Okay. Um, so the two guys were, you know, very heated because, you know, as a local band, we do a lot before one of these shows come. We're out, you know, beating the streets, putting out <clears throat> advertising for the show and selling tickets, you know, all that. Right, right. So we only got to play a few songs. So, yeah, we were definitely upset. No doubt about it. You know what I'm saying? However, we were venting to ourselves outside. You know, away from the bands, away from the music, away from the fans. Right. You know, so we could just let off some steam. Well, the security guy had the door open a little bit, and I think the tour manager came down the stairs and heard us talking and stuck his head in the door, and he said, you still talking shit about me? And we said, well, frankly, yeah, we're all talking about you because you're the one that told us you were going to cut the PA off on us, you know? So then, a lot of finger pointing. You don't understand how the business works. It costs us money if you run over. You know this and that, and whatnot. And a lot of that went back and forth. And uh, the one that he got into the face of one of the members, and they were just you know at each other's face, you know nose to nose. Okay. And I, one of our members put his hand between them and said, "Y'all knock it off," and kind of separated the two of them. When he did that. Uh, the tour manager just hit him right, hit him right across the jaw, right across the jaw. It knocked him back through the door again, so he was back outside again. And the tour manager guy chased him that way. Our other member that was standing there watching the whole thing grabbed him from behind the tour manager, and all three of them went to the ground. So as they're on the ground, the security is like, "All right, let him up, let him up." You know, everybody, everybody kind of calmed down. Wasn't no punches were being thrown. And the security said, let him up. Okay. So our guy said, all right, all right, we'll let him up. We'll let him up, no problem. So as soon as he let him up, he went right after that guy again, right after one of our guys, the guy that he originally hit. Okay. He went right after him again. And finally, they got him separated. He started yelling at the security guy, I want him gone, I want him gone. And the security guy kind of shrugged, and he's like, hey, man, he's, he's the tour manager, you know what I'm saying? And if he says you got to go, you got to go. You know, and we talked to the venue guys, and I mean, we've played easily 40, 50 shows at this place, and never have we ever, as a band, ever had any kind of problem like this, ever. We've never been in a fight, we, I mean, none of this has ever happened, and all of a sudden, now we're the, we're the big, bad talking band that goes and beats up tour managers, and I'm like, that is not how it went down. Uh, there was only four people there, and that was the one security guy. The two RR members and the tour manager. That was it. There was nobody else around. But yet now they've got witnesses and they've got photos. But that's there's. It's not possible. 
Now, there was, are, are, they, are they planning on pressing charges or vice versa or anything like that? We're not pressing charges. I mean, the one guy, the one guy never swung. Um, our guy has a busted lip. Our, uh, the guy that got hit, okay. he's got a busted lip. Um, I didn't see any visible things on the tour manager, like he wasn't bleeding or anything. I mean, I don't know if he has a bruise now, but as when we left, he looked okay. But I mean, it, it, you know, I haven't heard anything about charges being pressed. Honestly, I don't think he's going to. Cause, I mean, if there is any video surveillance of it, it's going to show him hauling off and punching our member. You know, so I don't think it's going to get pushed any further than social media. So, and I mean, if, I, if, I, if, I, if there is video, I, I sure hope we can we can get it. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you you would want something like this on your side. I mean, right. Being an op- opening act and being an up-and-comer like the way you guys are, it's got to be a rough situation as it is. And something like this can put a blemish on you as a band with the venue right. and with other bands. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm sure... Yeah, I mean, it, it, it stinks for us, but I mean, it, it's kind of one of those lose-lose. Like, what do you do? You know, you just let them beat up, you know. Oh, yeah. Let them beat... You know, let him beat you up, or you know, or he fight back. I mean, all he did was fight back. Now, and now, now we're the bad guys, you know. Now, where was because, Ryan Tuck O'Leary in the situation? Was he anywhere around, or is he just no. posting all these comments just because he's posting all those comments because it's a store manager? I, like I said, there was only four people that. Matter of fact, you talking about fit for a king, right? Oh yeah. I think they were on stage. During this, when this whole thing happened, they were on stage performing. So there's no possible way they could have been there. Because he's the one being most this, vocal. Right. And if he's the tour manager, why was the tour manager on the side of the building for no reason? You know, where our guys were. I mean, that makes no sense for the tour manager who's got a lot to do inside to just be walking outside on the side of the, of the venue. I mean, we had nothing to do, so we went to a quiet place to talk. Yeah, I mean, naturally, in a situation like that, you're going to be a little bit pissed off, you know? I mean, right. you, you, you went ahead, you guys did the flyering, I'm sure you had to sell tickets on your own, you had a lot of shit yep. to do, and yep. to get up there and be caught short, you know, I mean, especially in that fashion, you know what I mean? I mean, there, there's ways of handling it and explaining things, but to go on there and the way you're saying it, if he went on stage and told you that, I'd be, you know, I'd want to be back and forth with my fellow bandmate as well and say, what the fuck, this is... And not only yeah. that, but when we got there, they wouldn't they wouldn't let us backline. So the first band had all their stuff on stage, so they jumped right on the dot. They finished, they pulled off. We still have to set up because they wouldn't let us backline. There wasn't enough room. They had too many bands and not enough stage. Right, right. So we had to load all our gear. We we set up all our gear during the band before us on the side of the stage while they were performing. We set all the drums up. We set everything up. But as soon as they came off, we jumped on stage. We were ready. It wasn't us that pushed it back. So that's what kind of exacerbated the, the situation a little bit more, was the fact that we didn't have nothing to do with it. You know, we're, we're known as a pretty quick band to get on and off. So, you know, that, the whole night just was not a good tone. And I mean, the guy was, uh, I don't want to say firm, but I mean, there's other ways he could have handled it, you know? Oh, yeah. And when we thought, and even though we thought it was done as far as us and him, you know, about what happened on stage. That's why we were on the side of the building, away from everybody, discussing it ourselves. So not to offend any 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 fans and we knew and we knew the bands had nothing to do with it. The bands are only going by whatever he tells them happened because nobody was there except for those four people. So it really sounds like a like a situation that got out of hand and, you know, unfortunately that it did happen. It, it's it's there and it's done. You know what I mean? I mean, what all he can do right yeah. now is try and move on. And, and what do you think your approach is going to be from, from here on out? I mean, do you think you have to go with any like, uh, social media blitz or keep on defending yourself? Because obviously from the minutes that it happened, which is, look, this just happened. How, how long ago did this happen? This happened. I just got home like an hour ago. So I'd say maybe two hours ago. I mean, they were that quick to jump on the internet and start saying, oh, we, we jumped the tour manager. We jumped the tour manager. 
I mean, you didn't hear anything from us about it, nothing. It was, oh, and then before we, I could even get home, my phone was going crazy. Right, right. So, I mean, they were quick, but there's no proof. That, uh, they keep saying they got proof, they got proof, they got witnesses. I, I swear on the Holy Bible, there was no other people around. So if there are people claiming to be quote-unquote witnesses, there are people that are being told to be witnesses. Because if they talk to that one security guard, he can tell you it was just us four there. And every time the security guard told our guys, you know, to get up, let them up, let them up, our guys complied. But because he was a tornado, when he jumped up off the ground and hit our guy again and then told us, you know, told the security he wanted us gone, you know, the van didn't have a choice. Now, is this a big guy? What, what size are we talking about here? I mean, no, 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 really. He's shorter than me, and I'm only 5'8". <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, yeah, which, which, I mean, when he was in my face, I was like, you know, no big deal. I'm not really worried about it. But the fact that, you know, he he swung on, on you know, our other guy, at first it kind of took us aback. I was like, holy shit, <laughs> we just hit him. Yeah. And yeah. that's when they that's when they went back through the door, and that's when they grabbed him and pulled him off and held him down. And the security guy was like, all right, let him up, let him up, let him up. What's new? Bam, they come right again. I couldn't believe it. I, I, the whole situation was just blew me away. I could not believe it was happening like that. So, I mean, granted, some things he may have overheard may not have been too nice, but they weren't intended for anybody else. They were intended just for, you know, those guys to talk about. Right, right. You know? Now, when you say you, you were nose-to-nose, nose, were you the person who got punched, or were you the person that pulled him off of the other bandmate? I was the person that pulled him off. Okay. Yeah. I was the person pulled off, and as far as I could tell, you know, nobody had looked like they had been hurt, you know what I'm saying? Now, I mean, later on, once it, once it dissolved a little bit, I looked at my guy's mouth, and his, his lips busted, but, I mean, other than that, he's fine, you know, and the other guy looked okay. I mean, he wasn't bleeding or anything. I didn't notice anything. So, uh, I thought it was over, and then, of course, once, you know, when he jumped back up and hit him again, I was like, are you kidding me? We're doing this again? Now, how did it break down from if it, it was if he was you and him going at it verbally? Right. How did it go from him switching over to you to punching the other member? Because Mike, see, he when he started when he started yelling at me and I was yelling back at him, like literally, he walked up and got nose to nose with me. Okay. Like literally, so my other guy put his hand between the two of us. You know what I'm saying? And, right. And, right. Mo- and moved him back and said, hey, man, just back up, you know, back up. Because he thought we were seeing a fight. Okay, okay. So he was trying to stop the situation, and he ends up getting punched in the face. So he gets the punch because he's the one that's saying, guys, calm down. and try to Right, get right. He tried to get in between him and I. Okay. I mean, when, when both of us were yelling at each other, I'll admit, both of us had our hands down. I mean, neither one of us were, you know, the tour manager wasn't squared up. I wasn't squared up. I, we were just yelling at each other, you know? Right, so it, it and, never uh, came down to the point where you guys were, you know, out there and it was going to be like, let's do this, you know what I mean? We're oh, on. no. It was just... No, 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 no. He overheard what went on and it just became a verbal battle that escalated into a sucker punch and then, uh, you know, then a breakup of the scuffle. Right, that's exactly how it went down. Exactly how it went down. And, uh, I mean, there's nothing more we could do about the situation. I mean, we talked to the guys at Vinyl, explained to them what had happened, asked them, you know, hey, go talk to your guy. Go talk to your guy that was working the door. He saw the whole thing. And they just said, look, you know, it's a touring band, it's a national act. You, you guys, you're, you're out, you're out late here. You got to go. Right, right, yeah. So, we were, you know, so I was like, I had no problem. You know, to defuse the situation, well, you know, no problem, we'll go. And then 15 minutes later, you know, you can check the phone and Ryan's post in. It wasn't even even around when it happened. I mean, a lot of people are talking, but nobody really knows what happened except for those four people. That's it. And hopefully a security camera somewhere. <laughs> right, right. Definitely. I mean, you, you'd want something in Oh yeah, I, I I hope I hope when everything comes down, we can talk to Vinyl and say, hey, you know, do you have security on this? Because we would love to be able to post this and show everybody, hey, it wasn't us; it was your boy. But I mean, right when it first happened, I got a message—not a post, but a message 
talking about, uh, hey, man, you know, I'm part of this group, and I just want to show you what Ryan and them are saying in this group before they start blasting you on Facebook. And I just want to get your story before I jump on the bandwagon. So I said, all right, no problem. So I, I told him that. And he goes, all right, man, I'm going to repost everything you told me in this group. Uh, that way, you know, it's, it's a fair shake either way. And five minutes after that, the post, Facebook starts getting notifications, and it hasn't stopped since. So only only like two or three people actually wanted to hear both sides of the story. Everybody pretty much went by what, what Ryan's saying and everything else, and and that's it. You know, that word's gospel, and who's you know, the, we're full of shit. Who's John? Who's is it? John Raphael? Raphael? How, how am I pronouncing this right? Gene Raphael? I don't, I don't know who that is. That's not a member of your group? No. On, uh, on Facebook, uh, or I'm sorry, on Twitter, Brian at ruminate underscore Brian. Uh, I have no idea who that is. Okay, because uh, he's posting, well, Ryan just retweeted his post, and it came, and it's an official statement from you guys. Uh huh. And then um, I'll, I'll spell it for you. At R U M I N A T underscore B R Y A N. Is that a member of your band? No, there's nobody in my band named Brian. Okay. Right. There's two Chris, two Chris's, a John, and a Mike. Okay, because he posted. Um, the same story that you're telling me, and it says that you guys got a show at Sluggo's this Saturday. Right. I'll read the whole thing to you. First off, most would like to thank everyone who came and supported us tonight at Vinyl. Y'all were amazing. Now, the elephant in the room for those who saw us, our set was cut. That's from... John. That's John. Who's Now, who's John? John's the singer. John Schreiber. That's your, that's your member? Yeah, that, he, he's my member, yeah. Okay. Now, he writes underneath here, okay, he, this gets retweeted by Ryan. Ryan says, the band has been confirmed, but I'm not into online shaming. Between us and World Alive, we will make sure the band is blacklisted. Mm-hmm. And then, right underneath that, it says, this is coming from John. Bro, should we mention that we kicked the tour manager's ass? That's from John Schreiber? No, that is from uh Yeah, yeah, from your yeah, from your 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 member there. That's coming right from his Twitter account. From his Twitter account? Oh, I don't yeah. I don't have his Twitter. Uh I that's the first time I'm hearing about it. Nah, bro, just saying it's a long story. And this is uh what he posted. I don't, I don't know. I'd have to talk to John about it because I don't have Twitter, so. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's, I'm just bringing that to your attention. That that. Uh... Yeah, well, he's posted a couple of stupid things, but he's he, he's super super upset. He's a uh, he uh, he posted a couple of things as Rain of Revenge. I posted the big long official description. Okay. That was me. Um, the other stuff, I think he's just so frustrated by all the hate mail. Right. That, and, and honestly, he's, uh, you know, he's taking this very hard. Um, he's just so fed up with it that he's retaliating. And I've already texted him and told him, stop. And you're not making the situation any better. Yeah, definitely. I mean, with, with that, with that comment there, that definitely puts a different spin on that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And he wasn't, and John, John wasn't even there. The, Oh, he wasn't in, in the scuffle. You're saying he, he was at the show, uh -huh. but he wasn't at the... No, nah, he, he was inside, yeah. He was inside watching the show. Now, when I got you on the line here, I mean, I, I'm just saying, like, I'm just going a little bit slower because I'm reading everything that's on. I mean, shit keeps popping up every fucking two seconds, so it's... Oh, man, you're, you're telling me. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I'm on the phone, so I don't have to hear going off all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you fill me in a little bit more about the band? Tell me who you guys are. Do you guys got a record out? Tell me tell me everything about you guys. Uh, well, we're all you know, in our mid-30s. We all went to high school together. Uh, Chris Johns is a guitar player. Me, uh, Chris Johns, and uh, Mike Turpin, the drummer. We've all, uh, and Ty, the other singer now. He's a newer addition. 
Uh, we all went to high school together. Um, we all went off to the different things. We all come back. I own a recording studio down here, and uh, they're recording an album with me. And uh, their bass player had, had some other obligations that I needed a bass player, so that's how I got into the band. And uh, we've been playing ever since. We're actually, because... Uh, because we added Ty, our other singer, and some keyboards, we've kind of changed how we sound, and we were actually very excited about this show because it was closer to the genre that we're getting into. Right. You know, we're coming, we're going away from the metal and the death metal stuff and going more into the metalcore kind of scene. And a lot of times we play around here, it's with hardcore metal bands. And that was good back in the day, but now that we've, changed a little bit we were you know fit for a king uh i've always been a huge huge uh uh i can't ever remember his name for some reason but the drummer for uh, word alive his youtube videos i've been watching those for years okay you know when i found out we were playing with him i was like oh you know i was so excited because i love his videos you know and uh we were excited about this show because it was probably the, the best crowd we were going to get towards our new genre, you know, or the, or the genre we're breaking into. So that's why this whole thing is just even even worse, you know, because we were so excited about doing this and it turned it up so badly. <clears throat> but um, we got a new album coming out probably in the next six months. We're going to have a little EP, a little seven-song EP coming out. But uh, other than that, that's, we're just grinding out, playing these local shows and regional shows and stuff. Now, I, I wasn't trying to put you on the spot when I mentioned what the other, you know, what your what your singer said there. It was just something I read. Well, I yeah, he's tying up, but I think, uh, and this is between you and me, um, he's probably pretty intoxicated at this point. He's pretty, he's, he's really, really upset. Right, right. <laughs> well, I mean, so, I, understandably. Yeah, I understand. Well, I mean, you do understand yeah. we're in the middle of an interview, and that's going to be, you know what I mean? What's that? You said between me and you, but this is an interview. Or off the record? Is that supposed to say off the record? You want me, I mean, I can cut this part out if you if you want, but uh, it usually just flows. Hey, it's fine, man. I mean, he, he's... <laughs> I mean, I don't think... I just don't want to embarrass him, but I mean, it, I think it's okay to say he's super upset. You know? yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. yeah. But one thing you should definitely do is uh, you should give him a call and let him know. <laughs> Let them know, you know what I mean? Yeah, I already, I already texted them. I said, who's, who's posting all these messages, you know, all these retaliatory messages? And uh, he was like, I am. I just don't know what to do. I said, look, dude, you, you can't say you can't say stuff like that because you'll be doing it all night and all day. You'll just be feeding into it, and it'll never stop. So we, we said our bit. We, you know, the people that know us know that we we don't just walk around looking for tour managers to, to jump. Right, right. So, I mean, you know, our fans, our people, they know us. They know, you know, we're all family people. We have kids and stuff. We don't, we don't just go around looking for fights. So Yeah, yeah definitely. We'll uh, just keep it at that. But, I mean, if you try to fight every single person, you know, verbally, that says something negative, we're, you're going to be here all night. So, just just let it go, buddy. We'll just, just go to sleep and we'll, we'll deal with it tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like you guys are going to be dealing with for for quite a bit on this, actually. You know what I mean? It's going to be yeah. one of those things that uh, fuck with you for a little bit, especially now with this day with social media. You know what I mean? I mean, think about it. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. Years ago, dude, shit like this would happen at shows all the time, and it would just be swept under the rug. You know what I mean? It'd be right. a rumor that you heard. Now, it happened two hours ago, and look at this. You know what I mean? You're doing an uh, interview. It's all over the country. You do an interview about it already. You know what I mean? It's fine. <laughs> right. This is unreal. So we can get an interview because we can accuse of jumping somebody, but <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible. Well, um, I do thank you for your time. I appreciate everything that you told me. I'm going to get this right out. But um, why don't you go ahead and let everyone know they want to follow up with you. They want to know more about the band. They want to hear your music. They want to know who you guys are going to beat up next. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> You're killing me, bro. I'm just fucking with you. But seriously. I know, man. What are they going to go? What are they going to do? You guys got a website or just go to your social media or just go to the social media page. That's fine. The Facebook page. Facebook.com slash Rainey's Revenge. Uh, 
I believe it's yeah, backslash Razor Veg. I think it's SL, but let me let me verify to make sure. No, I'm sorry, it's just Rainy's Revenge. All right. So perfect. yeah, Facebook.com backslash Rainy's Revenge. Cool man. All right, dude. Looking All right, man, appreciate to, it. Uh, looking forward to more news on you guys, and hopefully, uh, it's gonna be about a <laughs> new new single, or you know what I mean. There we, more there we go. <laughs> that sounds a lot better. All right, buddy. I appreciate it. All right, thanks. Yep.